Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Recently, the government introduced the Forest Conservation Amendment Bill 2023 in Lok Sabha to make changes to the Forest Conservation Act 1980. Consider the following statements about this. 1. The predominant idea of the proposed changes is to build forest carbon stock by raising plantations. 2. The bill seeks to make land available for developers to meet their legal obligation towards compensatory afforestation in lieu of forest land diverted for development projects. 3. The amendment bill, instead of completing the demarcation process on the ground, seeks to limit the applicability of the FC Act only to land recorded as forest. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is C. The amendment bill Instead of completing the demarcation process on the ground, seeks to limit the applicability of the FC Act only to land recorded as forest. This will have the effect of removing the protection of the Act from millions of hectares of land that have the characteristics of forests but are not notified as such. Question 2 With reference to Indian Space Policy 2023, consider the following statements. 1. It seeks to institutionalize the private sector participation in the space sector, with ISRO focusing on research and development of advanced space technologies. 2. This delineated the roles and responsibilities of ISRO, Space Sector PSU New Space India Limited, NSIL, and Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center in space. 3. India's share in the global space economy was less than 2% at present and the space policy will help it increase substantially to 25% in the future. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only Answer is A. India's share in the global space economy was less than 2% at present and the space policy will help it increase substantially to 10% in the future. The INSPACE, created recently, will be the interface between Indian Space Research Organization and non-governmental entities. Question 3 with reference to Janam India project, consider the following statements. 1. The initiative is funded by World Bank to sequence at least 10,000 Indian genomes in Phase 1. 2. It is a research initiative led by the Bangalore-based Indian Institute of Sciences Centre for Brain Research and involves over 20 universities across the country. 3. The goal of the research is to develop predictive diagnostic indicators for several high-priority diseases and other uncommon genetic disorders. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is D. The initiative is funded by the Department of Biotechnology, DBT, to sequence at least 10,000 Indian genomes in Phase 1. In Phase 2, the project would collect genetic samples from patients with three broad categories cardiovascular diseases, mental illness, and cancer. Question 4. Consider the following statements about mission to map rural India's cultural assets. 1. In this cultural asset mapping, Villages have been broadly divided into 7-8 categories based on whether they are important ecologically, developmentally, and scholastically. To the entire exercise has been carried out under the Mera Gao Meri Dharohar, My Village, My Heritage, program of the National Mission for Cultural Mapping, NMCM. 3. The ecological category, for example, includes the Bishnoi village near Jodhpur in Rajasthan which is a case study for living in harmony with nature 
and Uttarakhand's Rani village, which is famous for the Chipko movement. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. In this cultural asset mapping, villages have been broadly divided into 7-8 categories based on whether they are important ecologically, developmentally, and scholastically if they produce a famous textile or product and if they are connected to some historical or mythological events such as the independence struggle or epics like the Mahabharata. The ecological category, for example, includes the Bishnoi village near Jodhpur in Rajasthan, which is a case study for living in harmony with nature, and Uttarakhand's Rani village, which is famous for the Chipko movement. There are also villages that have developmental importance like Modhira in Gujarat, which is the first solar-powered village in India. The villages under the historical category include Kandel in Madhya Pradesh, the site of the famous Jal Satyagraha, and the villages of Hanol in Uttarakhand and Vidrushwathar of Karnataka, which are linked to the Mahabharata. Suketi in Himachal Pradesh, Asia's oldest fossil park, and Pandrethan in Kashmir, the village of Shavite mystic Lal Ded, are also classified for their historical importance. Question 5 with reference to the Great Nicobar Island project, consider the following statements. 1. The Great Nicobar Island, GNI, is a mega project to be implemented at the northern end of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 2. The project includes an international container transshipment terminal, an international airport, township development, and a 450 MVA gas and solar-based power plant. 3. The goal of the project is to provide a framework for the development of a new greenfield city with a diverse and robust economy based on maritime services and tourism. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. To only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is D. The Great Nicobar Island, GNI, is a mega project to be implemented at the southern end of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The project has four components an international transshipment port, ITP, Greenfield International Airport, a power plant, and a new township that could constitute a special economic zone. These four interlinked projects form the core of the new city and the holistic master plan. The ITP would be the primary project driving the holistic development that would morph the forested, serene, and pristine island into a steel and concrete urban abrasion. Question 6. Consider the following statements about how governments are reacting to artificial intelligence, AI, boom. 1. The European AI Act aims to introduce a common regulatory and legal framework for artificial intelligence in the EU, covering all sectors except for the military and all types of artificial intelligence. To the Niti Aayog, the Planning Commission of India, has issued some guiding documents on AI, such as the National Strategy for Artificial Intelligence and the Responsible AI for All report. 3. The United States also has comprehensive federal legislation on AI. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is A. The Niti Aayog, the Planning Commission of India, has issued some guiding documents on AI, such as the National Strategy for Artificial Intelligence and the Responsible AI for All report. These documents outline the vision, goals, and principles for developing and deploying AI in India, with an emphasis on social and economic inclusion, innovation, and trustworthiness. However, these documents are not legally binding and do not address some of the key issues and challenges related to AI, such as accountability, liability, 
transparency, explainability, and human oversight. The United States doesn't have comprehensive federal legislation on AI yet. It instead has a patchwork of various current and proposed AI regulatory frameworks focused on specific AI use cases such as AI in recruitment or employment. The US also has a new Trade and Technology Council, TTC, with the EU, which aims to align on some common principles and goals for AI governance. Question 7 Consider the following statements about World Health Day. One World Health Day is observed every year on 7th April to draw attention to a particular health topic that affects people all over the world. To it also marks the birthday of the World Health Organization, WHO, which was founded in 1948. Three, the theme for World Health Day 2023 is equality in health. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One and two only. B. One only. C. One, two and three. D. Two and three only. The answer is A. This year, the World Health Body is observing its 75th anniversary. The theme for World Health Day 2023 is Health for All. Question 8. Consider the following statements about short-beaked echidnas recently in news. 1. They can't pant like dogs to cool off since their long, thin, sticky tongues are useful only to feed, neither do they sweat as we do, nor do they lick their arms like kangaroos whose evaporating saliva cools the underlying blood vessels. To with about 100 mucus secreting glands, this Australian mammal blows snot bubbles to bring down its body temperature. 3. It is not threatened with extinction, but human activities, such as hunting, habitat destruction, and the introduction of foreign predatory species and parasites, have reduced its distribution in Australia. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One and two only. B. One only. C. One, two, and three. D. Two and three only. The answer is C. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.